Definitely caught up on some sleep last night. Now that it's time to prepare the gear for today. For today is day number two in Indianapolis, Indiana. Now, as you guys can see here in this footage, it is still a little bit dark out here. The light is not exactly prime. After all, it is 7 a.m. right now. Oh, anyways, if you guys watched the previous two videos on the YouTube channel, you guys saw that yesterday I hit the pleasant run all the way southeast of wonderful and beautiful Indianapolis. We actually did fairly good over there. I fished there the whole day, landed four new lifers for the species list, right? The Western Black Nose Days, the Hinictis obtusus we also landed the orange throat darter the etiostoma spectabile the silver jaw minnow the notropis bucatus and finally a northern hog sucker that it took me four hours to catch right the hippentelium nigricans i almost forgot the scientific name of the last one <laughs> nobody's perfect you know uh, <laughs> today day two I'm actually at this other creek. This creek is actually a little bit northwest here in the city. I am at the Fall Creek, right where it meets the White River. Now let me tell you, I can I can say that the game plan for today, you know, today's fishing adventure is going to be a whole different ball game out here. Look at this. They actually call this right over here a creek, and the thing from yesterday a run if this was like in philly you know this would be a river and that would be a creek anyways anyways we did catch four new lifers we scratched off a few items right from our list of target species our little species blacklist but as you guys can see there are still 19 species in there that we still need to pursue so the game plan for today it stays unchanged the life listing continues we are going to explore and do a species assessment over here as you watch this video i would like to emphasize don't forget this is extreme fully fishing's first time ever setting foot in this creek so i have absolutely no idea what is there right or what i will potentially catch today we will play by ear but that being said i do have three species or three targets today that i would really like to find that is like the main objective to catch a Johnny Darter the sand shiner that we didn't catch yesterday that should be abundant over here too and you know I would like to catch just a, a type of sucker any type of sucker that I don't have on my life list yet if one species of sucker shows up in this video that I don't have yet I, I will be very happy with that so all right enough talking i gave you guys the whole three four minutes intro rest of the video it is really time to just grind it out there and see what swims under the waters of the fall creek got my sony camera ready over here for all the different species of fish that we're going to land today i know that we came out here to lifeless but come on guys i mean it's not like we have a lot of light out yet it is still morning when it comes to micro fishing it is we need the light you know to do the side fishing i figure may as well cast a little inline spinner over here on the deeper portion of this creek to see if there's any life over here whatsoever right maybe catch some species that we already have to kind of boost our confidence level oh got something boy got something Ooh, boy that's what's up it's a bass isn't it it's a bass to get started oh look at that it's my first largemouth bass from indianapolis look at that micropterus salmoides hey that is what's up little fella fall creek hey you know what these are the wonders of multi-species fishing or live listing you come here to different states and you target everything it's not just about sizes it's about the species right my first ever largemouth bass from indiana 
can't say that Leo Shang didn't catch a bass from Indiana, eh? Sadly, that wasn't the first fish of the day, though. I've been catching some smaller smallies around the area, the Micropterus dolomieu. So, I mean, okay, there are certainly some predatory species over here. I'm gonna run the spinner for a little bit more, but as you guys can see, the sun, right, is up now. So, we could technically start microfishing. Two hits. Oh, came back. Came back, boy. Is it a bass again? Boys, there is this the only <laughs> dink bass? The only thing that is available here at Fall Creek? Yeah, dink bass. Look at that. Sun. Oh, wait a moment. Mm, wait a moment. This bass looks a little bit different. Let me see. wait. They do have spotted bass. They do. Yeah, wait a moment. We're gonna double check this right now. We're gonna double check. This looks like a spotted bass. Let's see here. Does it have the toothy pa toothy patch? Look at that. Look at that. Can, can you guys see the little toothy patch right here in the mouth of the fish right over here? And they do have spotted bass in this river, I believe. Mm hmm. Yes. Another species for the strip. I'm giving this fish a little bit of water, but this is beautiful. We've caught three different species of bass <laughs> to start the day right over here. Look at that little toothy patch right over there. They do have the spotted bass in this drainage system. Kind of saw that the bass looked a little bit different, you know, than the regular bass. Oh, 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 oh easy. Oh, easy, bro. It was a little bit different than the ones I usually catch. So as you guys can see, that right over here, my friends, is the White River. I have come a long way. You guys can't even see where I shot the intro anymore. I've waited a long way here through Fall Creek. And at the beginning, this place did look pretty intimidating. You know, it's wide, it is big, but after waiting a lot, I kind of realized it is all sandy substrate with very little structure at least this portion over here and man i got good news and i got bad news the good news is that this place is filled with shiners there are so many of them around the main question is, what exactly are they, right? I'm going to tie a Tanago right now, and we're going to chase some of them because obviously, I hope that one of them turns out to be a sand shiner, one of the targets of the day. The bad news is that I just waited this entire stretch of this creek, I think about a mile, and uh, I haven't seen a single sucker over here. Like I told you guys, it is overall shallow while I was casting the inline spinner, you know? I was looking for structure, looking down there, and I didn't see anything. I haven't seen any darters either. I did see one shiner in particular that stood out a lot. There was only one of it. I believe it was a member of the Cyprinella genus. It would definitely have been a new lifer, but the thing got it spooked so fast, it just zoom swam away as soon as it saw me i know where i saw it though so i'll go there look for it again that being said let's just switch to the tanago hit the shiners a little bit and i mean who knows right for the rest of the day maybe as we travel upstream instead later on we are going to find the suckers indeed right play by ear one step at a time some shiners can be very easy to catch other shiners are truly a nightmare let's see if these shiners are willing to bite got one already let's see what we got is this the sand oh this is looking like it it's looking like it is this the sand shiner that i'm looking for this the, mm, certainly looks like a notropis ah uh, let's double check let's double check that was a little bit uh anti-climatic huh that easy huh yesterday the whole day we didn't find this little guy at the plaza run 
Today here at Fall Creek, I just saw the school of the Notropis down there. First cast, you know, the fish just went there, slurp the Tanago in like a spaghetti. The species number 314 for me, the sand, oh easy. Why is this dude already floating in the photo tank? Man, no, we can't allow that to happen. Here, go back, my son, go back. E man. Some of these little notropes, they're very fragile. They're very fragile. You have to take real good care of them. But as you guys can see, right, by the photo I'm going to post up here, man, these little notropes, they really just do look so similar to one another. I mean, this looks just like very similar to like a mimic shiner or like even a small spot tail shine. Unbelievable, isn't it? All right, cross one of the targets of the list. We still have the Johnny Darter and the Suckers, right? All right, let's get grinding. I'm here in the middle of the river. As you guys can see, just found something really cool along this little structure right here. Some type of little catfish is hiding right under here. I'll try to catch it on the Tanago hook right now. Well, I have never seen no catfish who doesn't like cut bait. So all we need to do is catch a little shiner, chop it up, put it on the hook like a tiny piece of cut bait, and I think that catfish is going to hit. Have never seen a catfish yet that can't resist a little piece of cut bait. Micro catfish, micro cut bait. Could be a new species, you know? Can't let it pass like that. Oh, the cut bait right in front of his face is right under this log. Come on, get it, boy. Get it. Got it! <laughs> I got it! Tiny catfish! Yay! On the cut bait, son! Look at that, huh? Tanago putting in work! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Now, what exactly is this? That's, that's the main question. Is it a new species for me? How come it looks like a. A flathead catfish baby. Let, let's put it in the photo tank. Man, I just spent 15 minutes chasing this little catfish. I mean, don't take me wrong, cutest thing ever, but it seems to me now that this is just a, a flathead baby. Ay, ay, ay. In other words, not a new species at all. It has all the characteristics of a flathead. I am not 100% sure on the ID yet, but Anyways, let's do a unhooking over here on my smallest. Oh, took the cut bait. That's okay. You can take the cut bait, little fella. My smallest flathead, up to date, micro flathead from the white, well, Fall Creek in this case, right? Here, little fella. Look at that little catfish swimming away. The little black thing right there. All the shiners are <laughs> terrified of it. Ah, uh, not a new species. You know what? Let's just start wading upstream and uh, go chase some of the stuff we're supposed to chase today. I don't know how to pinpoint it exactly, but there's something really odd about this particular stretch of this creek. So I kind of switched back to the Tanago and I decided to do a little bit more of micro fishing while I observe this particular area. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I knew it, I knew there was something weird around here. This is not a sand shiner, folks. This is not, I don't think, I don't think so. Oh, get the photo tank, boy. <sighs> I was so excited for a moment. You guys saw it, after hooking that dude, I even run to the shore because I thought, man, this is gonna be a new lifer, right? This is gonna be, this is gonna be a new species. Turns out it is a spot thing shiner, a member of the Ciprinella genus. You all see that little golden line right over there too. I also counted the anal fin rays eight anal fin rays so it is definitely not the iron collar shiner that would be a lifer for me right the iron collar shiner actually has nine 
ain't no fin rays and it doesn't really have that gold bar ah, on its body. Thanks to my friend Jared, by the way, for letting me know about the golden line. Anyways, hey, just gotta release it, you know? I saw these dudes feeding more towards the top of the water. That's how I kind of realized, man, there's something really odd going on around here because the sand shiner, they usually don't do that kind of stuff, right? Dang, son. Well, all right, I've caught a lot of spot things in my area before. Here, little fella, you're free. Bye-bye. Is that a new species? Is that a Ciprinella? What do we got here? This one's too long to be a Ciprinella, in my personal opinion. Uh, all right, let's see, let's see. Whatever that thing right over there is, it is definitely something very, very different. I can tell you, the body is elongated, very, very long, longer than it's supposed to be. It's got a big eye. I'm gonna take a few photos and we're, we're going to find out. Well, I am fairly confident that this is a new lifer for me. I'm actually fairly confident that this is what they call a silver shiner, the Notropis photogenis. Let's just pronounce it like that for now. Long, elongated. I took a photo of its dorsal fin together with the pelvic fin too, so that you guys can see that it closely aligns to each other, right? Which is a way of differentiating it from other species around the area. I'm just going to release this guy over here. It's been inside the photo tank the entire time. Notropis genus are very sensitive and therefore sometimes they do need some reviving. There was a school of them, just two or three is swimming around the area, crazy. And I was using the Tanago, it's still kind of trying to check if there are some suckers around the area, trying to get a steel collar. Shiner, which is a member of the Ciprinella genus that I don't have yet. Hey, tell you what, another lifer? I'll take it, I'll take it. 315! And the quest continues. You all see the little suckers down there? I'm trying my best not to move too much. I don't want to spook them. There's four of them sucking right in front of me right now. I may go back a little bit and cast in front of them using the Tanago. Look at that little Tanago hook and see if I can hook one. No idea what those are species wise, but 100% they're suckers. No, oh, they are sucking down there. Oh, did he find my Tanago? No. Got it. Got it. Got it. It was in the mouth, son. It was in the mouth. I don't know what it is, but it's in the mouth. Yeah. 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 School of sucker. Saw the four little sucker down there. Yeah. It was in the mouth. You guys saw him in Tanago. In the mouth. Oh, man. That's got to be a new species for me, right? I mean, come on, man whole day I've been trying to you know no big sucker around here what can I do I want to I want to put some big sucker on YouTube too but come on let's see what we got here let's see what we got sucker filled with energy here I did that get that on camera right this thing is rolling yeah it's rolling 
Yes, I don't know what this is, but, but, but it's new. And it's a sucker of some type right here, so some kind. Time to take some photos and do some research. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Who's the balls now, huh? Who's the winner now? One hour chasing these little suckers down here, you know? I see a school of only three or four of them sucking down there. And the worst part is that they don't suck all the time. They suck a little bit, they feed a little bit, and then they stop and then they suck again. So you actually have to time it to throw your stuff in front of them without spooking them only when they're feeding and sucking. Oh, unbelievable. Anyways, Leo, scratch it off. Scratch it off, my man. Two out of the three, we got the sand shiner. We got a type of sucker. As a matter of fact, we call it a carp sucker, right? I have no idea what type of carp sucker this is. Look at that. Look at the little fella, how beautiful it is never seen one so small either i don't even know if anyone in the live listening community has caught one this small before you know i've been talking to my friend jared morer and even him you know he's been the one helping me id all these different species of fish and even him he's like dude i never seen one this small so i'm not so sure anyways i took a lot of photos of this little guy i'm going to release it now this is a species what 300 and 16 men go down there and go suck with your friends again all right here my brother here here you are free my dude easy now easy yeah go suck on the sand far away from me my man that's what's up i love indiana man i love indiana Woo, indianapolis treating your boy extreme full efficient real good so far we only missing that johnny darter now this is no darter environment i don't know folks we may have to leave that johnny darter for a future fishing session over here i mean it is already let me check 12 24 p.m you know what i'm saying it's time for me to get some lunch so I'm gonna list here everything that we caught today. We may not have caught that Johnny Darter, but look at all the species that we caught, including a few lifers as well, right? The sand shiner, the silver minnow, the sucker right over there, right? Hey, if this video follows the flow, the same as the previous video, right? Yesterday, we didn't find the sand shiner. Today we did. This video, we didn't find the Johnny Darter. So following this logic, does that mean that next video we're going to find it? Hey, stay tuned and those shall find out. Thanks for watching, fellas. I appreciate it, ladies and gentlemen. It's still super happy about this one. My first ever carp sucker. If you are not a life lister or a multi-species angler, I don't think you all understand how hard it is to it is to catch one of these, you know? Ah, I'll see you guys next time. Look at that. One cast, one sand shiner. This is unbelievable. Yesterday, we couldn't find them the whole day. Today, legit. One cast, one sand shiner. Look at that, on the Tanago. It is just like my friend Jarrett told me, once you catch one for your life list, you never again want to catch these little fellas again, right? Huge schools of them right over here. Uh, I think I'm done with this school over here. It's time to go chase some other minnows out there. There's a still that mystery Cipronella upstream that we need to chase the darters the suckers we, we can't waste no more time with sand shiners that's what life list is all about though <laughs> so excited to catch one you know now it's like no more no more <laughs>